Hello, this is Crafty Crafty, and today we are playing another episode of Gratic New Horizons Season 2. And with the helmet, I have a gigantic nose. Anyway, today is the day. Today is that we are finally entering some an, uh, some new era. That era is Applied Energistics. Well, our uh, Logistics Pipes Network actually served us really well. And it's actually a really nice system. Really well well working. I know that it wasn't a, a it, it wasn't how I uh, planned the sentence. Anyway, it is a good uh, system, but Great Day New Horizons is not a normal pack. It is basically the automation loophole. You automate things, then automate things, then automate things, then automate some more things, and play with magic sometimes. Yeah, uh, that's basically great in your horizons in a nutshell. And also uh, a grind in, in between of them. So yeah. And Logistics Pipes, even though, though I love this mod, it's uh, super fun uh, to play with, does not cut for this kind of uh, workload. I currently actually able to send some of the bottlenecks of logistics pipes and yeah it starts to get a bit issuey a bit hard to a bit harder to manage so what we are gonna do is our logistics pipe network with a flight energy 62 network anyway also another thing is I'm planning to add this area to the chemical station. Uh, maybe add a bridge between those two. And starting to move the center point either here or here. In uh, Yeah, that would be the new center point. And I'm planning to create new magic area around here. And yeah, the base is going to grow. In this episode, we are not going to fully uh, replace the Applied Energetics Network yet. The Logistics pipe, Pipes Network currently does everything, so it is Im still important. But we are going to show you the basics of Applied Energetics. And as you can see, I crafted a bunch of stuff here. So yes, and also I did a lot of those things. Also, I finished up some of the quest lines here and there. And let's start with Applied Energy 6. Uh, as if you remember, uh, we for start to, uh, before starting to apply Energy 6, we need to find the meteorite compass. Uh, actually, we it's not important, uh, not find craft, uh, but it's not, uh, it's optional, it's not mandatory. But it helps us to find those guys, and at least one of those guys is mandatory. Then we make these guys. These three guy, guys are the core of the entire Applied Energistics. And then everything moves from there. Applied Energistics is an interesting logistics and storage mode. Uh, if you remember cor correctly in my, by my definition, logistics pipes, as in the name, just a logistics mod. mod. Uh, diamond, uh, iron chests, storage drawers, and any other mod that resembles them are storage mods. Applied Challenge 6 is both, and it's really good at both of them. Uh, by the way, we could move to Applied Challenge 6 after Mars, but I wanted to... I had put, put a challenge to myself that I will uh, move to Applied Challenge 6 after Mars. So, 
A Black Challenger 6 in design uh, stores items as digital copies. And, and, and digitally. Uh, it's an interesting concept. It's not actually an actual science thingy, but it's an interesting concept. And let's just get some power here. And how, where can I get power? Actually, let, let's just ta uh, clear this area and yeah. Before starting Gap Light Energy 6, what we're gonna need is an energy acceptor. This is how we uh, get energy from uh, any source to apply energy 6. And then, uh, what we're gonna need is glass fiber cable. Actually, there are a few different types of cables in uh, apply energy 6. Let me just show you all of them. And let's take actually a stack of glass fi uh, glass fiber. Uh, yeah, glass cable, sorry. Okay. The thing is, those three actually are the same. Let's show you. This is the glass cable. This is the cover cable. Both of those are the same, just the texture is different. And there is also the smart cable. It's it resembles the, the covered cable, but the inside is black. Yeah, it's actually an interesting thing because in Apply Energy Six there is a something called channels. Normal cables, those three have uh, can only carry eight channels. If you want to carry more than eight channels, you need to use dense cable. Dense cables are, can carry 32 channels. And channel means one uh, interface, bus, um, storage, etc. per channel. So anything connected to the network is uh, a channel, it uses a channel, most of the things, sorry, not everything. Now, actually, let's just use this and let's do this. As you can see, we don't use any channels yet. Now, what I am going to do is place this guy. Amy chest. And do you, do you actually receiving any power? I guess not. I guess you're not uh, receiving power. Should do I have to connect you to some other stuff? Yeah, you are getting. You are now getting power. Okay. Now, smart cable, come here. I need you to sh uh, show the channels. And let's take. This guy. And yeah, you already see one channel used. And if I will look here, we can place things here. And I don't want to take the, uh, use the thing magic. And this is ME chest. And we can store anything we want. Uh, the only limitation is. Uh, we can only store 63 different types of items. And if we do, uh, if we want to access this inventory, we can click on top, but I don't want to. I want to connect from anywhere. And in this case, we get ME terminal. And with that, we can actually see all the inventory in our whole entire network. And this guy uses one more channel. Yeah. And there's a, a brother of him. I mean, crafting terminal. It's technically the same thing with a crafting bench. Yeah. And also there is short and long version. Also, there is the 
some different stuff too. But an interface terminal you will see later. But we can, with this we can only have one storage and for every storage I don't want to craft another uh, image chest. I want to have a more compact design. In this case we have ME drive. ME drive is just that. Then let's take this. And as you can see, we don't see anything here. And if I put this here, we see everything again. And to this guy, we can place uh, 10. Uh, yeah. For a ME drive, we can place 10 different uh, ME drives. Uh, yeah, sort cells. Uh, this both saves us uh, from space and also channels because both of those guys uses single channel. But if I want to put 10 different, different uh, storage cells into ME chests, I would have to use 10 channels. But with that, we only need one. And with that, we actually have a basic ME system on our hands. And I... A standard search, say search string, no. Okay, now we have some different stuff. Firstly, let's look at the interface terminal and interfaces. Interfaces are the, an interesting thing. It can, by the way, it, it also changes uh, the, after four uh, channels, it shows in a different color. ME interfaces can interface with anything in the ME network uh, and outside of the ME network. Uh, for example, uh, hopper. Let's get a hopper. Actually, let's uh, use the block version because it can be on uh, or block or cover. Let's use the block version. Let's say if I want to actually let me just get some stuff from the system. Let's get some stones for demonstration. For example, I. Let me just place things here. Yeah, it's also instantly uh, goes to here. Ah, it's placed in here. Nice, interesting. Anyway, and I instantly can pull. And if I uh, do this, in this interface, I al always have 32 stones. And all the excess can be imported to the system. And yeah, if I connect a hopper here, and let's put those guys, those will be put in our system. So yes, with that, we see the interface too. And there's all the cover version is the same thing, but uh, if I remember correctly, inserting Ah, it also inserts. Okay. Uh, I think it was an old behavior. Uh, it changed after some version. And you can uh, take the colors once like this. And interface terminal. Uh, able, to s uh, able to see us the interfaces in the system. And yep. We can see all see all the interfaces, and with that, we end up something uh, end up with something interesting. We used all the channels, and let's say uh, another cra uh, crafting terminal. Let's say I want to place another crafting terminal. 
the entire system is blocked because it's out of channels. Yeah. How we deal with the channel dilemma? It's actually super simple. Uh, let's take this and this. With this, this is a Mi controller. And with this guy, in every side, we have... Actually, let's place you. Okay, that's... Anyway, <laughs> let's place you here and take Dance Cable. Dance Cable provides us uh, 32 channels. And as you can see, it only activates two colors because it only activates uh, two, uh, eight channels. So it's uh, two sets of the channel limit. And if I put here, those... And we can access here. And uh, let's put a, take another interface terminal and place this. And we can see those guys again. Basically, in apply, uh, with Apply 306, actually, as long as it connects to the same controller. Uh, by the way, controller can be a multi-block. It can connect to multiple things at once. Uh, co connect to multiple controllers together as long as they are continuously connected. Uh, you can access anything from the ne uh, ne same network that ch touches the controller. And, uh, by the way, there's also a... Deep note, uh, you cannot put two sets of controllers on the same network. It will be bro uh, uh, it will get worked. And, and uh, let's look at the dance cable recipe. Yeah, it's molten energy alloy, HV, uh, circuits, uh, smart cable is not necessary. Dance covered cable. Uh, it's covered cable, etc., etc. So it's expensive. Dance uh, smart cable, uh, dance smart cable, and dance smart cables are a bit expensive. So it's a bit hassle to carry this guy everywhere multiple times because we need. For example, let's look at uh, let's look at this machine. <coughs> this machine automation. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven channels just for just for this machine. That's that uh, thing. And for this automation, uh, let's look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven channels per these two. So uh it's not uh feasible to carry everything in multiple dance cables but we have a solution we have a really really strange solution p2p and what is p2p uh before uh, showing p2p let's uh, look at an interesting concept Actually, let's do this, do this, and I need a cable anchor. Cable anchor, come here. And no, not this side. Can I place? No, I can't place like this, but I can place like this. Okay. Okay. Now. What I'm going to do is something interesting. Something really, really interesting. I'm going to connect P2P tunnel here and dance cable. Uh, no, not this one. The dance cable here. And P2P tunnel is, a, by the way, I actually, this won't work. I need 
Uh, uh, it's here, okay. Uh, quartz fiber. Quartz fiber is an interesting cable. It can carry the power, but it cannot carry the signal. So it's basically a strange separation of the networks. Now, this small side network can carry the signal, uh, not signal, yeah, power, but it doesn't have any signal. Actually, let's just take the crafty terminal here. Yeah, as you can see, in this network, we have these guys. But if I connect this here, I don't see, I cannot see anything. Yeah, because this is a sub-network. This is a separate network. And let's place a P2P tunnel here. And take this guy. Memory card. So, okay. Uh, shift uh, uh, with shift uh, left. Uh, right click. By the way, I ca cannot uh, distinguish uh, left and right even in my native tongue. It's a side effect of dyslexia. Anyway, shift, right click, and we save the setting, and just normal click, we loaded the settings. Now, this guy is actually this. Yeah, they are connected. And if I connect this here and this here and if I connect this terminal I can access to the network yep this is how it works and uh, I can actually directly connect those guys to the controller itself and every side of the controller provides 32 channels so Basically, I can, with just one channel, I can carry 32 channels from here all the way around here with just one channel. So, in, in one dance cable, we can... Uh, 32 plus 32. Oh. Oh, how was it? Uh, no, how was it? No, no, no. How was the math worked uh, in here? Was it like this? No, no. no. Anyway, uh, you get the idea. Basically, with this, we're gonna have, uh, we can carry a lot of channels with just one single cable. A lot, a lot of, lot of channels with one single cable. As long as I, we name the ch uh, P2P channels accordingly. And if I remember correctly, yeah, uh, the advanced memory cards. Actually, we can make it. Uh, is there a quest for advanced memory cards? There should be. But I think there is not. There, there is not. Yeah, that's that's a bummer. And let's look at this guy. This is also a network tool. And uh, by the way, let's, uh, for example, get. Uh, these guys, sorry, uh, these guys and uh, some of these guys, but yet, okay, actually I don't need you, and it should be like this, yes, uh, facades, uh, we have facades, and with facades, oh, hello chicken, goodbye chicken, with facades, we can simply cover everything, and, yeah, transparent facades. Yeah, and so with a wrench or network tool, we can just pull those guys. And we can technically cr uh, craft anything into a facade. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff.
into false notes. So we can just simply decorate everything. Uh, we don't need to show these guys around. We can just hide everything. And uh, let me just make the advanced memory uh, cards. Yep, uh, we can see the mem things here and let's rename it test tunnel. And yeah, they are both. This is the input of the test tunnel and this is the output of the test tunnel. Yep. And there are different kinds of uh, P2P. So yeah, uh, <laughs> that's that. That's that. Anyway, this is the basics of um, Apply Energy 6. And by the way, there is also one more thing. And if I can show you this, yeah, there are a uh, fluid interface. A uh, dual interface is actually the fluid interface. It can interface with both fluids and uh, solids the items uh, import bus is uh, import bus and export bus uh, those are importing and exporting from the network and search bus this is something interesting and let's uh, search the score okay we can actually make one uh, pump uh, no not pump piston let's get one piston uh, nether quartz, nether quartz, and uh, quartzite. Uh, cert. Let's get two sources quartz. Okay, nether quartz come here and turn into this and sources quartz. You're gonna become uh, something, something interesting thing. Yeah, you're gonna become screw. And this should be okay. And in the meantime, our piston uh, is getting crafted and late. Yeah, basic one should do the work. Oh, well, we already have two. And piston is ready. And we should have an interface here. Let's take it. Uh, M interface, sort of squash chest, nether cross, okay, everything is here. This, 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 and this. And it's getting crafted. And with that, we're gonna see something interesting. M e storage bus, and let's scan. Oh, it doesn't get scanned, but it's this can be scanned. And also this one. Uh, Let's place this guy here, storage bus, and place this chest, and put these guys here, and voila, we see this in the system. Yep, and there's also the cards. Apply to energy sticks. The cards, can, the upgrades can be a lot of things. Was it inverted looking uh, or? etc etc and also we can uh, put this and uh, I put this here and if I put these guys here it always goes to here always it doesn't uh, go to any anywhere else and yeah this is currently buyer directional we can put in extract only insert only and put in by uh, by directional Yep, uh, that's the ba all the basics of apply tangents. Yeah, and currently we uh, for now we can actually connect our actual network, uh, actual storage uh, with those guys uh, with say storage bus. Yeah, this is a basic uh, thing magic, -y. and we can see those guys, and. Uh, currently, it's going to use a lot of energy, and I don't know 
yeah, uh, network tool. Actually, I need another network tool. <laughs> we can see the energy usage of uh, Applied Energy 6 with network tool. Actually, I think I can see with debugger, uh, portable, portable scanner, sorry. No, I, I can't. Let's look at this now. But let's look at this. Okay. It's max input or max output. Okay. It doesn't show how much it's used. So we are going to need a network tool. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to need a network tool. Uh, another network tool to see how much energy rate that we are using yeah that's basically this and between the episodes what i'm going to do is build a new area uh, i will i will try to have a live stream for that but uh, i might not because i'm in a really strange position for Moving out, but yeah, with this episode we have a basic Applied Energy 6 tutorial and uh, in uh, most of the stuff are going to be automated in a similar fashion. Yeah, so yeah, this is Kofte, it's Kofte. and please uh, do not forget to comment and uh, like and have a nice day.